Yo, Arnaid here, and you are about to watch our playthrough of Outer Wilds. It's a first person space exploration game where we're stuck in an endless time loop. We hop from planet to planet as we search for answers hidden in the unknown. A little bit of background info. It was developed by Mobius Games and published by Annapurna Interactive. It's been on my list for what feels like a lifetime, and after playing through stuff like Donut County and Stray, I'm loving what Annapurna get behind, and I couldn't resist choosing it as our next playthrough. As per usual, we're going in blind. So yeah, wish me luck. Oh hey, can we move? Ah. Oh. Okay, chilling at a campsite. Who are you, friend or foe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, don't fail at the first hurdle. Oh, God. I have really jabbed that out, didn't I? Oh, shit. That's okay, right? No, we, we, we go with that. We don't waste food. Let's try and make a better one, though. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm clearly not very good. We're just going to eat them all, though. Let's try again. Maybe like a little, a little jab. All right. Jabbing does not work. Hold above delicately. Yeah. You do good. How about that? Yeah, I'll take that. There we go. Can we talk to you? Hey, bro. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Hi. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly, here you are. Leaving on your first voyage. Oh, where are we going? What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. E I mean, yeah, right. I'm ready if you are, bro. Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with a pilot instead of the auto flight system. <laughs> Man, you'd probably be better with the auto flight system, dude. Not gonna lie. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship for the first time you put it down, you hear? Uh, you know who you're talking to, right? Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before we can lift off, or you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said goodbye or whatever. Bye! Where do we go? It's down here. Can we go down? Did we go up? Oh, oh wait, is that it? Oh! <laughs> I should probably look where I'm going, shouldn't I? Brilliant. Okay, can we jump? We can jump. Can we climb? Nope. Okay, we can walk. Ah, ah, you're going to teach us. Good, good. Okay, we can charge jump. Oh, the music is so relaxing. If I just go quiet, there's a chance that I've drifted off to sleep. Okay, right. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, let's do that again. Oh, there's a thrust. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not very good. <laughs> oh, God. All right, gently does it. Yeah, gentle, gentle. Where are we going with this? Oh, God. Did we land there? Okay, 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 okay. We're getting it. We're getting it. Gentle gentle movements, right? Look, we can land on this guy here. Alright, mate. Okay, maybe we can't. Um, excuse me, that's very rude of you. I don't know where we are. Oh, we've crashed. <laughs> we're just dead on the floor. Okay, we're done with you. We can now fly a ship. No, oh, hey. Mika, what a landing. I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? You obviously did not watch all of that. <laughs> but you know, we'll take it. If you're going to let us, we're going to do it. Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, what are you? Is that going to crash into that? What, like the sun? Oh my god. Okay. Focus, Dino. Focus. Hey, Paulfy. Hey, yo, Hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are far too far away. Or too far away. I'm just gonna ad-lib to all of it. The good stuff is less... 
delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Well, yeah, yeah oh, they're both pretty negative, aren't they? All right, we'll do that one. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Oh, thanks, mate. Hey, give me all your shit. Oh, I can't get in. What do you want, Rooty? You're actually blessed enough in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. I'm told my odds of survival are strategically quite high. Yeah, we, yeah we, we'll try and be positive about it, because we're doing it anyway, right? Yeah, the space program certainly came a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. So we do still cause them, then. Anyway, good luck with those retro rockets. Thanks, man. What do you do? I feel like they're teaching us how to do things here that I should really be focusing on. Oh, oh. Snapshot camera. Oh, is this like a test flight of going around the planet, maybe? Beautiful. Inspiring. I love that. Torture device. Pilot seat. Oh. It's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtaking liberal definition of flight. There will nevertheless be... Alright, too much talking. Bye. Well, it's a good job I didn't have to pay admission for that museum anyway. Hey, Marl. So it's launch day. How's going to miss you? Oh, don't. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And that platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? The big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Well, I mean... <laughs> the launch pad is flammable? You didn't realise that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. There we go, we'll be fine then. Stop freaking me out. Oh, play me a tune. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving for the crater today. We are, I think. If you meet any of the other travellers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments. What, they have instruments up there? Tell me about them. You made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Church drums, Rybeck's banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Felspar's harmonica, of course. Though Felspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Oh, did we get an instrument then? Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space programs. Other travellers, if you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Oh my god, we're going to find them via lonely tunes in an endless universe. Ah, oh, that's just, I mean, that's quite poetic, right? Where do we go? You're fishing in that, you're brave. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll be a... a well, guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. The big water planet? Wait, what? Where's that? Why is that? I need to find Hornfells, apparently. Did you try the observatory? I've literally never seen them anywhere else. Yeah, okay, we should do that. This way? Okay, then. That's got to be it, right? Whoa, what are you doing? Danger inside the fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Oh, that's from Hornfels. Okay. Let's have a look. How do we aim it? Aha. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. We get it. We get it. Right, should we try the observatory? Which, are, oh wait, is that, <laughs> that's it over there, isn't it? I saw smoke coming from the Jungbart crater up north and figured I should just check it out. You can use the scout launch, just please don't break it. A launcher? What? Launch me. How? We, we need to go to the observatory. Launch me that way. Oh, that's what the camp... Oh, wow. Okay, so we retrieve it. No way. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, if, if he saw fire... Or smoke, even. Where from? Oh, we could scout it out. Not today, I guess. 
Hello, Moraine. It's good weather for a launch, isn't it? Yeah. Any good sounds from spa Oh, they're not looking, they're listening. There are my signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveller's music. Ah, oh. Last night I heard Rabex Banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I'm sure it does. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Oh my god, get us out there already. Let's go. Equip. No way. Okay, that was a harmonica. Wait, can we zoom in on it then? Oh, and drums as well. Oh, they're the planets, right? No way. That is nuts. So they're on that floating funky rock. Oh my god. We need to get out there. We need to go hunting for these people. Alright, let's get over to that observatory. Oh, come on. We should... What's going on in the cave, then? Hello, friend. Oh, wait. I've got this all the time now. Brilliant. Hi. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? I am a little nervous. I mean, well, I'm quite excited, actually. But... <laughs> I'm a natural at this. Fake it till you make it. Is that so? Funny. I seem to recall the first time you strapped on the jetpack, we had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. Outrageous! So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. Set up down in the zero-g cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Alright, we can do that. One repaired satellite coming up, boy. Whoa, what kind of rock is that? Okay. I'm a little bit freaked out now. Do it, where do it? Ah. Okay. I feel a lot better now. Great, let's go. Mm. Oh yeah, come on. Can I pick you up? No. Oh, damn, we're floating now. Hey, Tuff. Nice to see you drop down. I'm getting some zero-g time in. Wait, give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt? Not much happening, come to think of it. Tektites or something crash outside the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Mm. Oh, is anything on fire? Ah. Te probably only a little tektite checked out the crash site with the old firewatch scout launch and saw smoke. Interesting. Yep, yep, that's cool. We'll go find it out ourselves. That's all good. We go down here. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is incredible. Lock on. Lock on. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> this is really disorientating. Um, we're repairing. We're trying. Yeah, easy, easy. Okay, so I think we're locked onto that, so do we? No, we're good. Oh my god. This way? Whoa. That was incredible. I think we're done down there, aren't we? We shouldn't burn a poor life fuel. Well, maybe, no, we do need to go back down. Yeah, let's check it out more. Any broken satellite pieces over here? Maybe? No. Ah! How about the bit that's freaking out? Whoa, this is really cool. Hi. Done. Any more for any more? I can hear you crackling away in the middle. We're coming in. Man, I bet we should charge one hell of a call-out fee for this kind of work. Okay. Oh, don't crash into the ceiling. Oh, it's that way. Boom. Nailed it. 
maybe give us a challenge next time, you know. Oh, did we go up more? <laughs> Space exploration games are probably not what I should be playing, considering my sense of direction is offensively bad. But I think we... Can we just take take the suit with us, or have we... Ah, oh, we took it off. Ah, we're a cool blue alien as well. Okay, I admit, that was a lot cooler than I thought. Nicely done, it'll be a little bit more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember, you're training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock. I am, man, I am. Yep, let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We gotta go, we gotta fly. Don't fall off the edge, you numpty. I'm loving how everything is wooden here. Are you our boy? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launched out last time, buddy. It's the translator tools, inaugural flight too. What does inaugural mean? I don't know. I'm so excited. It's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want, anywhere you are. Ah, the two of us just put a lot of hours into inventing that tool. So don't break it, okay? Ha ha. Oh, geez. Don't break it. We won't, man. We're good. We're chilling. I am freaking excited. Yep. What's that? Wait. New Nomai statue? Of course. I need one to see it. Yeah, sure. I'm not listening to you now. Come on. I've run out of patience and I want to fly in here. Oh, a fish. Damn, that is one scary ass fish. The anglerfish specimen was found attached to a landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. Right, remember that. It appears well suited to live in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Look at it. That is nightmare fuel. Right, don't get distracted with all the cool display cases. We're going to see the real thing when we get out there. Now, where are you, bro? Hornfells, there you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Let's go! You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomo translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. Hell yeah. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. I mean, we have grafted. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I am... I... Oh god, I do want to go where no one's been. I like it. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interloper. Interloper? Interloper before, you know. Perhaps you'll be the first. I must say, should you choose to go to the Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before either. Oh my god, yes. That's where we want to go. We want to find some freaky fish. Anyway, all that's left is to send you off. Yeah, let's go. Come on, come on. Launch codes. Yep, give them me. Uh, modifications. Yep, let me know. Yep, wait. We've got... Did we get the codes? I really should have paid attention there. Uh, no, we're good, right? Oh, we've got... Okay. We have them. Let's go. I mean, they don't look like codes to me, but... Yeah. We'll find out. Coming soon. What is? You move? Yo. Thank you. Dude, did you see? Where have you gone? Okay. Has everybody gone? Surely not. Oh, no, you're here. Yeah. Hey, did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? Yes, it did look at me and open its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue's doing what? So its eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Well, wasn't a hallucination. Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like medically speaking? Yeah, look, that, no, that statue is weird, all right? I mean, if you're saying that happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? I don't know why. Hornfels tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open and nothing like this has ever happened to them. Psh, they're not me though. 
I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbro said that they were going back to the Giant's Deep. Don't know what island they're on though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. Maybe you should get out of my way so I can fly. Where do I go to fly? Where is the big tree? I'm lost. Right, let me get my listening horn out and figure it out. Oh god. I can go away. Right. There. Do I go down to go up? Do I walk around? I go down there. Can I do a big jump? Ow. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. And I broke my legs. Don't do that. Ooh. Right. Look at that. Directly by where I need... Oh, no, it's not where I need to go at all. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Shortcut. Wait. I already got them. I did get them. What? I did get the coat. I feel like that time loop business has already come into play. But we're going anyway. Do the zappy thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. We've got a power crystal. Very good. Our lovely little window. Travel posters. Good. First aid. Check. Let's do it. Buckle up, baby. Do we just fly from here? No way do we just go. There's a lift-off camera. We gone. No way are we gone. View map. What the hell is going on? Oh, did I just like drop again? Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Wait, should we try? Let's just go there. The uh, Alter Rock. Oh my freaking god. How do we. How do we land on that? Right, we're coming in. Is that the landing platform? Maybe? <laughs> nah. This is really hard. There's a house on it. Right, do I use the landing? Oh, shit, no! I did not mean to turn up. Oh, we're on. We're good. Are we good? Okay. I thought we were going to blow it up. No, wait. We're just on the planet now. Esker's signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. Oh, no. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Listen to Chirp play for a while today, unrelated. Someone should tell poor feet and ghosts and their flirting is not suitable from an aerial perspective. Banjo music's coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybeck's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. Strange like what? Day 70. Nope, it's back again today. Two, something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, seven day, six days from then. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to Ganese. Yo, is he on that planet? Where is that? Right, view map. Right, zoom out a bit. Where, oh my god, how how far away can we go? What are you? So, weather, great. Giant's deep, the interlope. Oh wait, there's tiny ones here. The hourglass twins, okay. Brittle hollow, dark bramble. Okay, very dangerous, fine. Cool glowing thing, great, okay. Well, let's keep... Tell you what. what. What is that? 
unidentified signal nearby. Trees detected. Oh my god, our oxygen runs out. I didn't even know we had oxygen levels. What? So if we run away... Okay, we'll deal with that later. There's a person there. Hello. Oh, Esker. Hi. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Yeah, don't the other travellers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed f more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Fair enough. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro, you know? And how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go! I mean, is there anything you wanted to ask? Oh, he's lonely. Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually, definitely. Ah, oh, you don't have one. Oh, we get really good signal at the North Pole. Oh, that's the red thing. But the Atoll Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. What is this place? Where are we? Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. What? Back off, bro. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach you anymore. Well, no. When we first started Outer Wilds, travellers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved lots since then, but the older ships tend to uh, fall apart a lot. <laughs> well, I hope we've got a nice new one. Using the outpost cut down the number of launches and landings taking place in the village and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from a timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. All right, cool. No, go away. You seem not too chuffed that you're out here just chilling. So we're going to keep exploring. This is a kind of tiny rock. What else can we hear? I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed at the moment with the amount of exploration we can do. Okay, it's tracking our movements on the map. That's good. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? Whoa, whoa. Are these like eggs or something? And can I, can I pick you up? This is an old crater. The nearest thing here is the composition of the samples I took from the impact site. Matches the composition. Oh God, I'm reading this so wrong. Dark Bramble. I'd posit the Alter Rock was hit with a piece of planet that used to be where Dusk Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there's more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on the astral bodies in the solar system. Okay, fine. So that's a bit of Dark Bramble because it collided with the Atoll Rock where we are now. And that's really scary and evil. Copy you. Now, we heard a really cool banjo. Maybe it's got... Oh, Harmonica. Wait, the harmonica was the one that... We... Couldn't hear, right? The harmonica's the rare one. Okay. The harmonica is on. How do we track this thing? I've lost it already. Which, which way are you? Okay. Towards... I don't understand. Oh my god, we need to go. Where's my ship? There, come on. No, 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 no. Don't overshoot it. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. There we go. Where was it? That way. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, it's a dark bramble? Yep. Equip scout launcher. Oh, I probably should have done that, shouldn't I? Okay, we hear a harmonica. How do we get to you? Okay, we're gonna land really badly here. Right, we need to find the source of the harmonica. How do we land on you? Do we just fly into it? Let's just like crash into it. 
right? Because I'm just going to keep hovering by it. Dark Bramble, we're coming in, baby. Um, 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 are we on it? Oh, come on. Oh. We're in. We're in. Do we go in? Oh my god, yes. Hello. Hold. Oh. The hell? Exit ship to repair. Headlights damaged. Landing gear damaged. Bro, it's big in here. What is going on? We can hear you. Is it, is it you, the red light? It's coming from this white light. Dude. Dad, don't you fucking kill it, dude. That's freaking horrible. The way inside the fish. What just happened? Man. What? Did we just... Did we go again? A giant fish just, like, ate our ship? And now we're back here? Okay. Okay. That genuinely scared me and I couldn't move. Okay. Right. We're going to launch again. But I'm going to take a little breather. I hope you've enjoyed the first installment. We're going to figure out what is going on in this. What? Universe? Solar system? Galaxy? Whatever it is up there, we're going to figure it out. And we're going to find the source of that harmonica. My God. That was a lot to take in. Um, <laughs> I'll be back for more very soon. Hope you guys are well. Take care. Catch you later. Bye.